So we're on the fatty cart on our way to uh, where are we going today, guys? Animal Kingdom. That's right. Hello, Rai. Please hold on to hats, glasses, or any loose items that could fall from the tram. Uh, if an article should fall, please stay seated until the next. Uh, we'll, we'll get somebody to take us. So we're here in Animal Kingdom. Ryan and James, Jado, Rippy, Leanster. Hello. Oh, check out that big tree. Come on, guys, in you go. Are we all together? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you. Come on, we take you. Oh, I like it. You want to take a selfie? Yeah, here we go. You ready, Russell? You good? <laughs> I'm just going to give him a high five. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a picture of it. Say, and then give me a phone with mum and dad in a minute. We'll, we'll go in there soon. Okay, should we go in right? Yeah, we're just going. Is that right? Yeah, we're we'll uh, I'll video take them. Jay, I'll take them. You take the pictures, Jay. Whoa. Hey. Hey, this is odd. Hey, Jay. 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 Central South America is about 17 different species. These are called blue-throated macaws. You can see where they get the name from. Very important to us as avian conservationists. The reason they're so important is because they're so rare. They're the rarest species of macaw you're going to find out in the wild. Last count, there's less than 150 individuals. Very, very low numbers. In from all different angles, landing in trees all over the place. They'll hopefully all make their way down to this perch here in just a second. Who's our first one? Well, up top we've got a blue and gold Whoa. macaw. Very similar. Green wing macaws over there, the little guys. Those are called red fronted macaws, those little green guys. They're also very rare. There's less than a thousand of those birds out in the wild as well. So lots of different birds, a uh, few of them that are still hanging out in trees all over the place. I can see a few up here. Uh, so they're going to make their way down. But you know what? A lot of the parrots, as I said, face some dangers. Uh, about a third of all parrot yeah, species... Dino land. Hey, Jack. What a dino land. You all right? Yeah. We're going to get a drink after the dinosaur thing, shall we? Big old hippo over there. Look at the fish! They are dangerous, then, you know. Very they, dangerous. They look like chocolate. They like chocolate. They recommend an after You're going to get chased by a hippo full of chocolate. Yep. <laughs> He said the guy, his, his groundskeeper for his house. Hey, Jackie, look at mum. Ah. In a hippo's head. Anyone else want to put their head in a hippo's skull? Lena, are you going to go in? You're going in. In you go, Jay. Hey, Lisa, are you going in? Watch out, guys. Lisa's going in. Oh, take a picture of your hand and come with that. Oh, well, I'll take a picture of that in a second, then. <laughs> James wants to have his hippo. James, you want your head in the hippo? He's coming. Oh. Hang on, James. James, do a photo of me. Jack, stop being like this. Right, who else is having a hand in the Okay, and then... Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a piece of ice stuck on my throat and freezing up. Nina, are you shoving your hand in the crocodiles? Right, Jack, 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 Jack,
Put your hands with the gorillas. Wow, check that out. Ryan, you actually have eight hands. My hands not as are big as a six-year-old male. My hands are bigger than Bruce Willis. Don't stand with that. Quick. Don't stand with it. See if I can get it. Look. So that's James relative to the gorilla. I don't think that's actual size. Do you think? Yeah, that's about actual size. Whoa, he's massive. Gorilla's big too. That'll be a small one. They grow monstrous. Found a couple of gorillas. Oh. <laughs> Consider me a beast. Wow, James look happy. <laughs> but he looks really fed up. Check this guy out. Yo, mama! Hello. Hi, boy. A woman watching a test ticket match. <laughs> Good analogy, James. Like it. Nice. So here we go, we're in. Africa. Well, so it seems we're in Africa. This tune. Um, Jade. Jade. I bless the rains down in Africa. Hello, guys. We're going on safari. So, Jack, you're going to go right to the end of that side. Open! Care money, everybody. Open session. What you saw? Care money means welcome, everybody. So welcome aboard. Hayden's being a nut. Just pay, don't pay attention to Hayden. Well, listen to what he says to do, but sign so Hayden's being a nut. <laughs> Even. Right guys, what are we going to see? Are you ready for this? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, as a big say to to a new, which means let's go everybody. Welcome to Kilimanjaro Safaris. My name is Nika and I'll be your safari guide today. Just a couple things. Go ahead and look over to your right hand side. You should be able to see the old copy. That's that brown animal with the black and white stripes on its leg. There we go, walking around there. Oh yeah, whoa. Wow. Now that might look like it is related to the zebra, but the okapi is actually more closely related to the giraffe. It's actually the closest known relative in existence to the giraffe. That's on their back, they easily blend in with the forest trees around them, making themselves invisible or ghost like through their predators. Well, hello. It's like, hi, how's it going? I missed you. Come back. Now, also over here on your left hand side, you'll see some greater kudu. There we go. There's a hippo right here. They're swimming away. Oh, there he is. Look down there. And there's another one there. Let's look on that. Look on that. They can actually hold their breath underwater for about five to eight minutes at a time. The Nile crocodile. Now, the Nile crocodile is a cold-blooded creature. See, if you see them with their mouths open, it is them trying to regulate their body temperature. Now, once those jaws close, they can exert about 2,000 pounds of pressure. You're getting grassland. Now, Serengeti grasslands are used by millions of animals each and every year to migrate across Africa. Just staring at us. Hello. <laughs> Now on your left and your right hand side, you're probably noticing some of these reddish brown mounds. Those are actually termite mounds. Termite. Now termite mounds can become as hard as concrete and are sometimes even used as scratching posts by the animals that live here. Now personally, I would not want to use them as a scratching post. Because Look at the size of the horns on it. Imagine him charging out here. Thank you, Golden Ruthie. More termite males, particularly the giraffe, gets its name from the Latin word reticulata, which Sorry, means Dave. nets. So they're going to have a more net like pattern, while the Maasai we see later are going to have a leaf like irregular pattern. I love giraffes, they're just They're about six feet tall when they're born. There we go, there's a little bit for you. Well, that's a good 
Let's show the people. My favorite animal is now a giraffe. Does anybody know what a group of giraffes is called? A gaggle. Stacy, the sweetheart. Basketball team. Thank you. A group of giraffes is called a tower. A tower of giraffes. And holy cow horns over there. Keep going here. Alright, we wait, wait more than 30. Jack, don't join you. See that big one there? That's the male. No matter where you oh, that's why we have the traffic sign. Now here in Harami, the bridges are not built the best, so we only do one trip at a time. So everybody is safe, but that wasn't fun. Looks like the truck ahead of us got across, but I'm not entirely sure. Because that wasn't fun. Yeah, right, Stacey did hang on. You never know what could happen in the middle of Africa. Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh oh. Um. How's everybody doing back there? Whoa. I'm alright, but I might need a new pair of shorts. Oh lizards! And that elephant there might look kinda hungry. That's because they do something called dusting, the process by which they throw sand and water on their back and other, and other things to create a natural sun protectant. A lot of people don't know this, but elephants protect yeah. themselves against their predators. They can actually kick a full-grown lion in the jaw and break their jaw. That's because he's going to have that big, tough mane. And actually, also, I'm going to move a little bit closer so you can only see the male as well as the female who's in between the rocks all the way up there. Yeah. You know it's exciting. <laughs> it's on your bottom. <laughs> and even though a white rhino can run about 35 miles per hour, they have very poor eyesight, which is going to make them easy targets for those poachers. There we go. Oh, Dave. Hello. <laughs> All right, folks, our next stop today is my guy. Now also over on your right hand side, you're going to see some yellow-billed storks down there. Now yellow-billed storks are carnivorous birds who like to hang out near watering holes and other water areas. That's because they like to eat small fish, small frogs, and small snakes. Alright, sit tight everybody, hang on. Let's get a little bumpy here as we make our way out of the reserve. Try to make it as smooth as possible, but sometimes it's just a little bit too hard to avoid those potholes. Obviously, having to save the expense for the road. Well, it's part of the experience, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, now, as I said, we are making our way out of the reserve, which means that sadly our safari together has now come to an end. I hope you all enjoyed your music. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Peace. Oh, do I hear a chain coming? I want to take one home, babe. But I would eat all the washing. It would eat. It would just destroy the house. No, but it'd be bad for you. Wouldn't let it. Have any of you seen the pig? Yeah. He's so I cute. Know. Look at him. I like, I I'd rather have I the pig than the goat. Dave, it's a cooney cooney. What's it from New Zealand? He just He's wanders around so the outside. So lovely. Jack, you can't chase him, you have to just be gentle with him. Don't stop him, just go follow him. Go on, Dave.
single continent except for Antarctica. Why not there? It's a little bit too chilly here. Not many cars, not much food. Well, that's probably true. But he's getting food back there from Jared. And our little barn is going to turn around and make his own food. So you ladies go ahead and hit record. Make sure you're getting it. And then he's going to turn around. Here we go, ladies. We saw one of those, Zena. Yeah. The numbers drop so low, so fast, many people fear. Future generations never get a chance to see beautiful birds like her on the wild. But just when they put their first task of the incredible holiday, creatures share a common connection. So on behalf of all the creatures out there, we'd like to leave you with this wish. May your hearts take flight and your spirits... <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready, Jado? Yeah. Boys and girls? Yeah, let's do it. Hold on to your flip flops. Except for Ryan. Who's in his brand new shoes? I need to clean anyway since somebody's stood in chocolate. No, somebody's stood in it. He dropped it, you stood in it. There's a difference. Put it up like that. Put it like that. Okay, team. Yeah, oh, team Hulk. You ready for this? Da -da 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 So guys, who do you think is going to be the wettest? Jade and Lena. Yeah, I think you boys are going to be the
so wet. <laughs> it's going right up my knickers. <laughs> Are you, Jade's, Jade's got the chatters. Hello! Who's that? Shovel They shovel board. Merry Christmas! Oh, oh more oh, wetness. Maybe. Oh. 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 I can't see! Oh, is that it? Oh. Oh.